many of you have been asking about interactive whiteboards, uh, collaborative whiteboards for VLA and also the hybrid days that the students are not in class. Um, if you want students working with you collaboratively on a whiteboard, then I know a lot of you want to use Jamboard right now. Uh, it's not available with our Add Apps account. Hopefully that opens up. But here are some alternatives. The first one is called AW App, A W W A P P. And it has some different features, which is nice. Um, so you can uh, draw. Obviously, you can change the color. So you can draw. You can have shapes. You can type on it. You can have a post it. Shrink it. And then I can also add images. PDFs, uh, those types of things. I just go like that, make it the size I want, and place it, and there it is. Uh, so again, whoops, PDFs, images, PowerPoints, those types of things. So you can put that in there. Um, now, I don't know how many you can invite or have in this. I know it didn't really show in the pricing guide. so. Unfortunately, I don't know how many you can have in here, and I don't know if these are uh, premium features or if those are all free. It's just the number of boards you can have, and obviously you can always use the same one over and over again. Next one is whiteboard without the H. So whiteboard without the H. This one is basic. So it has just a few features. So it has the drawing tool, a line tool. It has text and the erase. You can change the color. You cannot add pictures or images or uh, PDFs or anything like that. So that's just the basic whiteboard, but you just click the share button to share it. And then finally, the draw.chat. And all of these are web-based, so you don't need to download anything. Students don't need to download anything. It should work on a Chromebook. This one is a little bit more comprehensive, which makes it a little bit more, um, probably have more issues. So you can add images, you can add text, you can add drawing. Obviously, you can draw on it. You can, and you'd share it over here. Um, but one thing about this one is you can chat in the side window with students or others. You, I believe you can even uh, web chat, voice chat. So it is a nice feature, but again, the more comprehensive it gets, the more it can probably mess up, especially if you're working with students in a large group of students. And then finally, in the last one we have access to, excuse me, is Google Drawing. Now, right now, it's kind of an ugly looking check checkered box, but you can add a white background. Sorry, yeah, there we go. You can add a white background and then you can draw on it. You can write on it using the text box. Come on, sorry. add images. So again, this one, it's not ideal, but everybody would be able to collaborate. And the nice thing about this is you could actually change the share settings. Uh, and I'm just going to skip that for now. You can set it so all people can edit it. You can set it so only you can edit it and other people can view it. You can give specific editing rights to specific students during, a, you know, if it's during a, a two tutorology or something. Uh, so it 
it does have some good qualities of this, but again, the look of it is not as ideal as, you know, something like the AW app. But um, so hopefully we get Jamboard, but if not, those are some good alternatives. If you have any questions, let me know. mkarasek at sawashko.org.